Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Psalm 8 verses 9. Hello family, warmest welcome back again to the Lovista channel. I trust you're doing so well and I hope you're taking good, good care of yourself. So today on the menu family, we will be frying some super crunchy chicken lollies, also known as chicken lollipops and these are super crunchy on the outside but so so moist in the inside please as you're watching i want to remind you to hit the like button do not forget that i see a lot of views but then you forget to like the video so please i'm reminding you today do not forget to like this video if you would really enjoy it now let's go straight to the kitchen and let's prepare these yummy chicken <laughs> So for this recipe, you need your chicken, preferably use your chicken drumsticks or chicken wings, okay? So here I have all my seasonings. I'll list everything down below in the description box because they are quite a lot. So in addition to all the seasoning, I have my buttermilk, eggs and salt and lemon to clean my chicken. Okay, so after cleaning it nicely, I'll go ahead and cut the ties off and leave the drumstick which I need. Or you can use your chicken wings but I always find it easier with the drumsticks. It's so so much easier to work with these. Okay. And one funny thing is at the supermarket the drumsticks and the ties were almost at the same price. I ended up getting the tie and the drumstick together, cut off the ties and use my drumstick and save it for another time that I'll be making something with chicken. That is some saving hacks right there. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and shape my chicken into the lollies that I want. Please watch carefully. There you have it. I hope you got the whole, you know, techniques. It's quite, you know, tricky, but it's really very simple. Once you cut round the legs and you then push everything to one side and you just try to cut it and shape it into this beautiful lollipop forms. That is it, family. So you repeat until all the chicken ties has been done and transformed into your lollies. And I'm going ahead to prepare the seasoning. I'm going to divide my buttermilk into two. I have here around four tablespoons of buttermilk. And I'll add all my seasoning to it. Mix it well, taste it, and add salt, the salt that I will need. Please do the same and adjust your salt to your taste, okay? And if you're wondering what buttermilk is, if you don't have some at home, you can always add a little bit of lime to your normal fresh milk and you get buttermilk. Yeah, that easy. <laughs> So now that everything is done, I'll go ahead and throw all my chicken in here and add my seasoning to it and make sure I mix it well. Make sure each and every chicken has the equal amount of seasoning. Yes, and it plays a very important role here. After mixing it well together, I'll go ahead and prepare my egg wash. I'll be using three eggs and I'll add some the leftover buttermilk and all the seasoning that I left behind. Now that we're done with our 
egg wash i'll go ahead and prepare my coat and here today i'll be using my conflicts to coat my chicken that is where we're going to get all our crunchiness from you can also use flour but i always prefer conflict now it is time for us to you know dip our chicken in the egg wash and then put it in our conflicts to coat it all around and whilst you're doing it you just also press the chicken downwards make sure the conflicts that not stick onto the bones just make sure it looks like a real lolly okay <laughs> yeah repeat until everything is done and you can also put it in the fridge for an hour before you fry it but here i didn't have that enough time so i just fried it straight away And also remember to be very gentle when you're dipping it into the oil just so that you do not lose a lot of the coating okay that is it you dip it in make it fry on each side for about five minutes and then you keep on turning it gently okay the word the key word here is gently be gentle with this chicken treat it like the queen <laughs> me or this chicken is making you lose concentration come focus don't lose concentration i know it looks so yummy and yes believe it it tastes even better and the crunch is everything so for the second batch of frying i need to clear the oil as much as i can and go ahead to drop all the chicken in gently as i did for the first one and yeah fry it until everything is done and do not forget to also gently turn them every five minutes to ensure a proper cook through on both sides you have it family we are done and they're looking so good and trust me they taste so delicious and crunchy the crunch was everything i just wish you were here to have a bite it is so so delicious i hope you give this a try this summer on your small parties your small gatherings everyone is going to love this trust me i made this delicious greek yogurt and a little bit of mayo and herb sauce and it was just the perfect sauce to go with it tasting time oh yeah <laughs> i dip it in the sauce just go into my mouth and i said mm, mm, yummy <laughs> yes and it was perfectly cooked well to the bones and it was just the best way that you can ever enjoy your chicken thank you so very much family for watching and if this is your first time here my name is lovia from lovey Start. my main goal is to cheer you up into making your own delicious meal right at the comfort of your home and i also love to share kitchen related motivational videos so you see come along subscribe and join the family for amazing new recipes every week thank you once again for watching and just know that you're so so beautiful just the way you are see you in my next one bye don't forget to like it okay <laughs>